Hi guys! Welcome to this new video. So in this video, we will be talking about how to use Puglia's four-step method in solving a problem. So in this method, it has four steps. Step one is understand a problem. Step two, devise a plan. Step three, carry out the plan. And step four, look back or check. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started! But don't forget to subscribe, like and share, and hit the notification bell. So now, let's try to solve problems using Polya's four-step method. So, our problem is here. So, Neil is three years older than Deal. Deal is four years less than twice Jill's age. How old are the three boys? if their ages add up to 35. So, the first step is to understand the problem. So, step one. So, Jill's age now is represented by x. So, Dale's age now is 2x minus 4 because Dale is 4 years less than twice Jill's age. Then, Jill's age is x, so and Dil, Dil's age is 4 years less than twice Jill's age. So, Dil's age now equals 2x minus 4. And Neil's age now equals 2x minus 4 plus 3. Because Neil is 3 years older than Dil. So, step 2 is devise a plan. So, the plan goes like this. 2x minus 4 plus 3 plus the quantity of 2x minus 4 plus x equals 35. Because the question is how old are the three boys if their ages add up to 35. So we have to equate to 35. Step 3 is carry out the plan. So we have to carry out the plan that we have created. So, 2x minus 4 plus 3 plus 2x minus 4 plus x equals 35. So, let's combine the like terms. So, 2x plus 2x plus x equals 5x. And negative 4 plus 3, negative 1, minus 4, and negative 5. So, 5x minus 5 equals 35. So transpose negative 5 to the other side. So 5x equals 35 plus 5. So the answer is 5x equals 40. So multiply both sides by 1 fifth. So the answer is x equals 8. So step 4, the last step is look back or check. So, substitute the value of x from their ages. So, we are going to substitute the value of x, which is 8. So, Jill's age is 8. And Jill's age equals 2x minus 4. So, 2 times 8, 16 minus 4 equals 12. And Jill's age equals 2x minus 4 plus 3. So, 2 Negative 4 plus 3 equals negative 1. So, 2 times 8 or 2x. So, 2 times 8 equals 16. So, 16 minus 1 equals 15. So, let's check if it will add up to 35. So, Jill's age 8. Dill's age equals 12. And Dill's age equals 15. So, 8 plus 12 plus 15. So, 8 plus 12 equals 20 plus 15 equals 35. So, the final answer for their ages are 8, 12, and 15. And it is correct because it will add up to 35. So now, let's proceed to the second example using Polya's four-step method in solving problems. The next problem that we are going to solve using Polya's method is here. The second angle of a triangle is 20 degrees less than the first angle. 
the third angle is twice the first angle. How large are the angles? So the first step that we are going to do is to understand the problem. So the question is, how large are the angles? So step one, so we have to identify each angle. So angle one is represented by x and angle two is x minus 20 because the second angle of a triangle is 20 degrees less than the first angle. So it will be represented as x minus 20. And the third angle or angle 3 is twice the first angle. Since the, fir since the first angle or angle 1 is represented by x and the third angle is twice the first angle. So it will be 2x. So the second step is devise a plan. So since the sum of the angles of a triangle is equal to the straight angle, which is 180 degrees. Therefore, angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 equals 180 degrees. Or, x plus the quantity of x minus 20 plus 2x equals 180. So the next step is carry out the plan. So, x plus x minus 20 plus 2x equals 180. So, let's combine like terms. So, x plus x plus 2x equals 4x minus 20 equals 180. So, transpose 20 to the, to the other side. So, 4x equals 120 plus 20. So, let's change the sign into positive. So, 4x equals 200. So, divide, I mean divide both sides by 4. So, 4x divided by 4, um, cancel the 4, and 200 divided by 4 is 50. So, the value of x equals 50. So, the last step or the fourth step is go, goes like this. Look back or check. So, let's substitute the value of x equals 50 to the x plus x minus 20 plus 2x. So x equals 50 and plus 50 minus 20 plus 2 times 50 equals 180. So 50 plus 30 plus 100 equals 180. So it is correct. So therefore, Angle 1 is 50 degrees, angle 2 is 30 degrees, and angle 3 equals 180 degrees, a total of 180 degrees. So, this is how we are going to use the Polya's four-step method in solving problems. So, that's all for today. God bless and keep safe everyone. Goodbye!